Hello Pirates, this is Yun for the Hunter Tips of the Plunder Pirates. On this video, we're going to check out about the defense strategy layout, which is called Encompassed Buildings, which is one of the variation of the Encompassed Islands that I previously unloaded. So try to compare what is the difference between the previous layout. Now let's look into the first example of the Encompassed Buildings on this following video. This is... <laughs> This kind of encompassed building ring of a perimeter surrounding the main base. For the first step, try to place the buildings at the perimeter of the mainland. And the second step, which is important, is that you have to have the decoration ring. The reason why you should have this uh, decoration ring is because of this distance made by these decorations will make the troops to attack the nearest building which is encompassed and at placed at the perimeter. So the troops going to circle around the boundaries of the mainland. This is the point. So try to place a lot of defense system inside the building to defense while the troops are being split. And as you know, when you gather, you survive, but when you scatter, you're dead. Okay, so let's try to deploy our troops in this building and try to test how the troops can be reacting. Look carefully. So when the troops are deployed, you can see that it's now starting to circle around because, because of this decoration. They're going to follow the nearest buildings. So they're going to, some are going to go to the right and some are going to go to the left. So for the defense player, it's going to be very easy to defend because all troops are now being dispersed, scattered. It's going to be very easy because only some of the few troops will be approaching to defense. And that's very easy to defend. Now let's go for the second example of the encompassed buildings in the following video. Mm, let's try to check on this video. Now you can see that it's it's looking quite random and is this really an encompassed building layout? But when you see carefully, though it's random, you can see the same concept here. You can see that there's a buildings at the perimeter of the main land and you can see the decorations. The decoration ring is at the second layer. And when you see carefully on this deployed troops, you can see that some are going to the left and some are going to the right because of the uh, closeness of the buildings at the perimeter. And because of the decorations, the troops will not access to the buildings and the storages inside the fence because it's farther than the nearest building, which is at the perimeter. So this is the main concept of how you have to lay out the mainland, and this is going to be very one of an effective layout to help you to survive. Let's look at the third case of the encompassed buildings, which is our today's last. And you can see that there is the buildings placed at the perimeter of the land, and is followed by the decoration layer, and the main base at the middle. And as you can expect, when you deploy the troops, it's going to have very similar consequences, because it has a perimeter of the buildings. So the troops will not go to the approach to the fence, because it's too far away. Instead they're going to hit the nearest buildings. This is why the troops going to be separated to the left and the right. And people will start to ask them, what do I have to do when I confront with this kind of encompassed buildings, encompassed islands? It's very quite simple. Just place the gunners first and destroy all the buildings at the perimeters and deploy your troops, then the troops will just go straight to the fence. If you like my videos, please click the honey jar at the upper right corner of this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.